up everyone it's Jess welcome back to my garden for another video so today I'm gonna be touring some of the plants in my backyard garden starting with this side over here to my left if you are new to my channel or have not been following along this is what I used to call rehab row and I did turn this into a formal planting bed so along my back fence line here I have a strip of homestrup arborvitaes planted they are finally starting to put on some thickness y'all I'm so excited I cannot wait to see them touching and just be a nice green wall so I can't even see the fence in the back. I'm going to back up this way and start and kind of go in order <laughs> down the line. So this right here is an agapanthus. It is done blooming. This one is called Ever Twilight. It has a pretty firework bloom to it. I'll try to find a picture to insert it for you guys. And then down in front here along the front border, y'all, please ignore the weeds. I have not been out here to weed anything, but I have some leftover begonias from my front planting project. I just popped them in here just to line the front border and they're doing amazing. Over here, I have my hibiscus that I transplanted a couple months ago. This one had been living in its container. Ooh, I want to say about four or five years, y'all. I got it on clearance and popped it in the ground it did bloom for me I'll insert a picture of the blooms and now that it's like super super hot and I have not been out here it's starting to look a little tattered <laughs> but I'm just letting it do its thing it does die back to the ground over winter and it'll grow back full in the spring beside that I have a peony here this one is called first arrival it blooms pink flowers early early spring you guys so for remainder of the season I just enjoy the shape of its foliage I love this peony Beside that, this is kind of like the star of the bed right now. Some of the blooms are starting to close up. I wish I had came out here yesterday. I'll insert a picture for you guys, but this is my hibiscus. I forget the name. I will try to insert it for y'all, but look at this bloom. Do y'all see this? It is starting to close up for the evening. The sun is starting to set, but I wanted to come out here and show you guys while I had the chance. And here's another bloom massive dinner plate size bloom like this is my hand y'all just to give you perspective and I have a ton of buds still getting ready to open so I did transplant this one as well from my dumping ground and y'all I was really really <laughs> keeping my fingers crossed that it was going to do well but I love the dark color against the green foliage with the pop of pink so so pretty so I may end up having to move some of these because I know this one right here gets about four feet tall and wide so I'm going to try and keep it trimmed but it's going to end up eventually overtaking this space. Beside that I have another peony that I transplanted from my back shade garden. This one blooms red early spring and y'all this one has been not loving its transplant job but it is still alive and this is kind of what peonies do down here in the south. I am in North Carolina garden zone 8a and we are in the middle of August. And this is kind of what peonies do. They kind of go dormant and then they flesh back out in the spring with nice, pretty foliage and pretty blooms. Down in front of that, I have five clearance plants that I planted. These are called Beard's Tongue. Yeah, these bounced back so pretty. They were loving all of the rain and then they started getting fried. <laughs> but look at the blooms, y'all. I love this pretty hot pink. So pretty much everything in this area here blooms pink or red. And then moving right along, we have a gorgeous weed. Let me go ahead and pull this while I'm here. Oh, gotta love when you get all the roots. Anywho, back here I have a trio of deciduous azaleas. These bloom gorgeous, huge orange golf ball, not even golf ball, they're like softball sized blooms in the springtime. And then for the remainder of the season, they just have pretty green foliage. I am going to come in and give these a haircut in the fall just to kind of keep them around this size. And then down in front of them, you guys did see a couple of videos ago, I just popped in these three red hot pokers that I picked up on clearance from Lowe's. Y'all, all of that rain that came through here from Hurricane Debbie brought these back to life. Like the blooms were gorgeous. The blooms are starting to spin now, but I have three different varieties planted here. So this one is called, ooh, I think Red Hot. This one, I can't remember the names y'all, but this one is like an ombre red to yellow color. And then this one is called Mango on the end. This one is more of like a lime orange color. So pretty blend here. And these I probably will end up spacing out because I know these will get a lot larger as well. 
still working on filling up this bed but my tree here this is my red bud this one is called rise and shine it has lost a little bit of its lime green color it looks more like a regular red bud <laughs> a regular eastern red bud now but in the springtime it has this gorgeous lime green foliage you guys but it is doing amazing it withstood all the wind that we got from um debbie and also if you guys see down here it is growing a baby so i'm gonna have another tree if anybody wants it i'm just gonna let it do its thing i'll let it grow some roots put it in a pot and i'll have another free tree Alrighty, and then last but not least on this bed, not too much to look at. The star of the show right now is my Rose of Sharon. This one is a pink chiffon. This one, y'all, has been blooming all summer long. Like the blooms, all the buds started down here. Those have all bloomed, and now the ones towards the top are starting to come out. So I'm so loving this shrub. I love the shape of it. I love the height, and I love it kind of anchors the end of this bed. Beside it, I have a Midnight Ever... Hold on. Midnight Twilight <laughs> Agapanthus with a gigantic weed behind it. That one blooms pretty dark purple blooms, which I'll insert a picture for y'all. Beside it, I have two daylilies that I transplanted from the patio bed. Just letting them do their thing, y'all. They were looking really rough when I transplanted them, but they have started to perk back up. They also bloom, so I can just come in here. I need to do some cleanup, y'all. Just come in here and clean up all of the old bloom stalks as well as clean the weeds out of here. In front of that, I have a Peachy's Peak Stoke Aster. This one blooms purple. I have another one planted over here on this side. I'll give you guys a close-up of the blooms. So I have one lone bloom to show y'all. <laughs> and then this right here is some salvia that I transplanted from the other side of my backyard. It needs a haircut and some just rejuvenating, you guys. So I will come in, give everything a nice haircut in the fall for my cleanup. And I cannot wait to see everything flush out next spring. All right, and then swing around behind me. This is the remainder of what I have left in what I call my dumping ground. Y'all, my chase tree has bounced back. Oh, look at the butterfly. So sweet. Let me see if I can get, well, I'm not going to bother. Let me zoom in. I love butterflies, y'all. Ooh, and my camera's super hot. I hope it doesn't overheat. But anywho, let me try and get through this quickly. So I have my chase tree planted here. I know it looks like a gigantic just bush of weeds, but it is now starting to bloom again because we got so much rain. I am gonna come in and give this thing a super prune job once I move my hydrangeas. So beside it, I do have two Limelight Prime hydrangeas planted here. These will be transplanting and moved over to the other side of my garden sometime in the fall you guys but they are blooming and they're also starting to color up for fall so these color up to a darker pink than the normal limelights but because i'm so not so far south but with our southern heat here sometimes we don't get that pretty mauvey pink tone it kind of just goes from this color to brown <laughs> but still nevertheless i am enjoying the blooms um, so the limelight primes do grow a little bit more columnar more narrow and upright they do also have stronger sturdier stems and the blooms are definitely more conical shaped and a little bit smaller from what i'm seeing so loving that down here in these two pots i have two crepe myrtle bushes waiting to find homes these may be going to a rosas we shall see and then just a pot of weeds so ignore that <laughs> All right, and then back here in my other shade garden, things back here, y'all, are starting to get a little bit weedy. I need to come in and do some cleanup. Also, my light of day hydrangeas, y'all, they are stretching and leaning for the sun. Let me stand to the side so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Do y'all see this? <laughs> like, they are stretching and leaning almost completely horizontally, looking for sunlight. And also, I have noticed when water sits on the leaves, they develop brown spots. So thinking about moving these probably sometime next spring. I'm not going to bother with it this fall, but I do also need to move all of my clearance hydrangeas. So these are some original blue endless summer hydrangeas that I picked up on clearance. Look how they've back, bounced back y'all. Like you remember how small they were in raggedy when I planted them, they have leafed out and bloomed amazing you guys. So these were the blooms that I had around like early July, late June. And these have all bloomed at the end of July and into August. 
so so pretty i was hoping that these were going to be blue i do need to do some treatment back here because my soil is so alkaline but i'm just loving the hot pink pop of color back here y'all please ignore all the weeds all of my hookahs are doing amazing i will be moving those more forward so that i can bring the hydrangeas forward as well and then my pots Y'all, I didn't even need to put any other plants in here. Like, this is why I say this every video, every tour that I do. This is my favorite annual. If I could just plant this all over my garden, I would. They just do amazing. Oh, look at the grasshopper. Y'all see him? So cute. But I do have a hydrangea that I got on clearance from Lowe's tucked in the back. And then this is actually two of the, oh, y'all, I forget the variety this is i'll insert the name on the screen but look how full it's gotten that's just two plants in the pot my salines are getting a little heat stress you guys and i also have not been out here to water them they've been surviving off of the rain that we've gotten but i will come in and give these a nice haircut they bloom in the springtime only but they bloom for a really really long time like i had blooms all the way into may this year so loving to see those come back next year still have my three hydrangeas here that i dug up from my other shade garden sitting in pots they bloomed amazing the blooms are spent and the leaves are starting to die back already for the fall so i need to still find homes for those three over here moving right along same thing a trio of salines along with some gorgeous little mushrooms that have come up nice to know i have healthy rich soil <laughs> Um, but my Inaba Shadar is doing phenomenal, you guys. It has not even shown any signs of transplant shock since I dug it up and moved it this spring. I'm so pleased with it here. Underneath it, I do have a ring that I planted. The four in the back were clearance plants. The two in the front were dug up and transplanted from my front garden earlier this spring. So they will eventually all catch up in size. These are Autumn Frost Hostas by Proven Winners, one of my favorite hostas. And then over here, I have another hosta. Cannot remember the name off the top of my head. I'll insert the name. Some lovely weeds. And this right here is a lemon lace elderberry, y'all. Every summer, it defoliates. Like, it does this every single summer. Once that heat hits, it drops all of its leaves. So I need to figure out something. Well, solution is to hook it up on drip, which hopefully I can do that either this fall or early next spring. Nothing in this bed is on drip right now. And then I have a Hinoki Cypress, a um, Sunshine Anise that I'm rehabbing, and then my Juniper Ball in the back there. Juniper Ball did take a little bit of stress, you guys. It's not getting enough sunlight, but it's still doing its thing. Big plant in the center in the back is my Gearcaro, doing amazing. I have five Emerald Green Arborvitaes along the back fence line and then another gear curl over here as well as in lemon lace elderberry that is also coming back but it dropped all of its leaves <laughs> this right here is a puffer fish hydrangea the puffer fish hydrangea as you guys can see have these cute little tufts at the end of their blooms which i think is super unique loving this here it is going to get too big for this space so i do plan on giving it a nice harsh prune but it will be reloc relocating eventually I have three Peachberry Ice hookahs doing well here. This is a blue juniper that I got on clearance. It is starting to show signs of its dieback in the center. Y'all, this is how it was when I bought it. But it has put out so much new growth since I planted it, y'all. So I think it's going to fill in this space amazing. Behind it, I have a lollipop tree formed. Ooh, this is a mugo pine that I got from the farmer's market. And then down here in front, this is a peony that I transplanted from one of my pots in the front yard. This is only its second year, so I haven't got any blooms. Hopefully next spring, I might get my first bloom. We shall see. But it is, oh y'all, it's looking rough. <laughs> um, this is my Arbor Body Ball that I transplanted from my front garden bed, along with this one here doing well. Do y'all see? My Wygelas have leafed back out, you guys. So I transplanted these a couple of months ago. They were looking so rough, but they're starting to put on more foliage. I think next spring, I'm just going to give it a nice haircut all the way back down to the ground and let it regrow. In the back, I have a ton of weeds that need to be pulled along the fence line, but I do have a amber gold arborvitae here doing well, as well as a buckthorn planted beside it. Let me step back. In the front here, I just popped in some lantana that I got on clearance. 
just for a pop of color i got a lot of comments saying lantana was going to overtake this bag y'all they are annuals in my area and this is as big as they get every single year for me so i just love their colors though like look at this hot pink and orange combination exactly what this spot needed and then over here in kind of like a swoop i have four fire chief arbor bodies doing amazing I have my Camrya Cypress in the center doing well, along with my blue spruce in the back, my weeping blue spruce. She is doing so well, you guys. I'm so excited about her. Down in front, that is one of the clearance plants that I picked up a couple weeks ago, y'all. It's surviving and it's starting to put out some new growth. So all the brown that you're seeing, that is the brown that was there when I planted it and bought it. So yeah, I'll give it a nice little haircut eventually and it'll flush out and be amazing. Moving right along over on this side here. I'm so sorry if the glares are harsh. The sun is setting you guys, but I have another Wajila. This is Wine and Roses that I transplanted. Another blue spruce doing amazing in the back. That is a moon glow. Got that one on clearance and y'all, I am so in love with the icy blue color on this. Like look at all the new growth that it's put on. Cannot wait to see that one mature. Stepping back, I have another blue juniper that I got on clearance. I'm just going to let it rehab. I have one, two, three, four. Ooh, I think these are limettas that I got on clearance. I'm just going to give these a nice haircut in the spring. Y'all, Every y'all, if y'all don't know or if you're new to my channel, 90% of my garden consists of clearance plants that I rehab and just let them regrow and do their thing on the back row i have three distillium that have put on so much new growth y'all i'm just so excited for all the growth that i'm seeing this right here is my other red bud this one is looking a little distressed <laughs> you guys i'm not sure what got a hold of it something started chewing on its leaves i came out here and sprayed it and i haven't seen anything since but it is a little bit on the struggle bus you guys i don't know really what's going on like I'm really hoping this is not signs of the VSD. Fingers crossed, it drops its leaves and I'm gonna clean up everything that drops this fall and hope that it leaves out nice and healthy next year. But I am so worried about this tree, you guys. Underneath it, I have some Rockin' Plain the Blue Salvia. This one I accidentally completely smashed one day and it's just now starting to grow back. But the others are doing amazing. These are perennial, so they'll come back for me next year. And then last but not least, over here, I have another Moon Glow Juniper that I got on clearance from Lowe's. It is also putting on a ton of new growth. Love that icy blue, you guys. So I still have not finished the bed over here. This hopefully will be a fall or spring project. I'm not gonna make no promises, you guys. <laughs> And then last but not least, I have my plum tree. It is just now starting to leaf back out from all the damage from the Japanese beetles. Y'all, when I tell y'all the treatment that I have been putting down is working, you guys. Literally, this is one of the only plants that had any type of damage from the Japanese beetles this year. So I'm going to keep up on my treatments. I've been putting them down monthly. July is the month that you want to start putting your treatment down to knock as much of the population down as you can while it is still in the lawn state so yeah you guys that is pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed seeing all of the updates stay tuned you guys i know i've been a little bit mia it is go time for my business i do have a small business and another channel that i run so if you guys are wondering where i've been i've been filming and posting on the other channel <laughs> But I will definitely give you guys updates as fall progresses. I have a ton of ideas for fall. I'm so excited for the fall season. I am a fall baby. That is where I thrive. So anywho, I hope you guys get a chance to get out in your gardens and enjoy the remainder of the season. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe for more and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.